Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we will discuss division of fractions. But before we proceed to our discussion, don't forget to like our videos and subscribe na rin kayo. Our objective is to divide fractions. So in dividing fractions, if A over B and C over D are rational numbers, then A over B divided by C over D is equal to, so first, uh, how we're going to divide fraction, unang gagawin, get the reciprocal of the divisor. So, alin ba dito yung divisor sa dalawa? So, this one, itong una, ang tawag natin dyan is dividend. At itong pangalawa naman, ito yung divisor natin. So, sabi daw, first, get the reciprocal of the divisor. So, pag sinabing reciprocal, pagbabalik ta rin ng natin ng pwesto, yung numerator and denominator natin. So, kumbaga, yung D natin mapupunta sa taas, yung C mapupunta sa baba. So, that will become, and after that, proceed to multiplication. So, alam nyo naman yung rule ng multiplication of fractions. So, yan yung previous discussion natin. So, again, first, get the reciprocal of the divisor. So, kaya A over B times D over C. And proceed to multiplication. So, ano yung rule sa multiplication? Imumultiply natin yung numerator and denominator natin. So, A times D, that is AD. B times C, that is BC. And, kailangan yung, uh, dapat tandaan na walang denominator dapat na zero. So, dapat hindi mag-zero yung denominator natin. So, for example, we have 3 over 8 divided by 2 over 5 or 2 fifths. So, first, uh, ano unang step na gagawin? Get the reciprocal of the divisor. So, 3 over 8 times 5 over 2. After natin makuha yung reciprocal ng divisor natin, proceed tayo sa multiplication. So, 3 over 8 times 5 over 2. So, uh, apply yung rule natin sa multiplication. Wherein, i-divide, uh, i-multiply natin yung numerator and denominator natin. So, 3 times 5, that is 15. And 8 times 2, that is 16. Okay, so 15 over 16, meron... Uh, Bababa pa ba itong fractions natin? Hindi na natin ito malolowest term. Okay? So, that is the answer. Next. Or another way class. So, pwede nyo rin itong gawin. No? Another way ito. Uh, by using butterfly method. So, paano yun? 3 times 5, that is 15. 8 times 2, that is 16. So, may mga cases na madaling gamitan ng butterfly method. Okay? So, kagaya nito ng example number 1 natin. Okay? But, huwag pa rin kalimutan yung uh, rules sa pag-divide ng fractions. Ito ay isang paraan lang para mapabilis. O, uh, sabi natin shortcut ito para mapabilis na ang pag-divide ng fractions. Pero, hindi sa lahat ng case ay magagamit ito. Next. Four fifth divided by seven over ten. So again, get the reciprocal of your divisor and proceed to multiplication. Four fifth times ten over seven. So, pwede tayong magcancellation. So is toy another way then ng pagmumultiply ng fraction. Magkakancel tayo. So, yung ten sa five pwede natin sila divide sa five. So ten divide five that is two. 5 divide 5, that is 1. So, ang natira nila sa numerator natin is 4 times 2. The answer is 8. And 1 times 7, 7. So, this is now the answer. So, pwede rin ito i-gawin yung mixed number. Okay? So, naka-improper yung sagot natin, pwede yung gawing mixed number. O, depende. So, kung paano, uh, kung tanggap na to yung sagot na to that is, uh, yan na yung pinaka-final answer. Or, pwede rin nga, sabi ko nga, pwede nyo gawing mixed number. Next, uh, that is, so yung mixed number nito is 1 and 1 over 7. So, using butterfly method again, so 4 times 10, that is 40. 5 times 7, that is 35. So, ito, kailangan natin to i-lowest term kasi pwede natin to babaan at saka pwede sila i-divide both numerator and denominator sa 5. So, 40 divide 5, that is 8. 35 divide 5, that is 7. Okay? So, same lang sila. Okay? 
Another, we have 16 over 21, divide 24 over 14. So, dito pwede tayo mag-cancellation. No? So, kakancel out natin yung 16 and 14. So, saan sila pwede i-divide? Sa 2. Okay, 16 divide 2. Since naka-divide, uh, uh, naka, ano pa tayo, in division pa tayo. So, kailangan muna natin pala balik na rin yung divisor natin. And proceed to multiplication. So, dito tayo. So, 16 and 24. So, pwede silang i-divide by 8. So, 16 divide 8, that is 2. And 24 divide 8, that is 3. And 14 and 21, pwede rin, no? So, yung 14 and 21, pwede rin. So, pwede sila i-divide sa 7. So, 14 divide 7, that is 2. 21 divide 7, that is 3. So, ang maiwan nilang sa numerator natin is 2 times 2, that is 4. 3 times 3, that is 9. Okay, so 4 over 9 yung final answer natin. Again ha, so marami ka tayong way kung paano natin i-divide yung fraction. So, pwedeng ganito. Okay, itong ganitong paraan. Pwede using butterfly method or pwede rin naman na using cancellation. So, may tatlong way kayo kung paano nyo, uh, paano tayo mag-divide ng fractions. Next, we have negative 4 over 15, divide 8 over 12. So, again, uh, kunin muna natin yung reciprocal ng divisor natin and proceed to multiplication. So, negative 4 over 15 times 12 over 8. So, may mga cancel tayo. Yes, so yung 4 and 8, so pwede sa 4. So, that is 4 divide 4, that is negative 1, uh, negative 4 divide 4 rather is negative 1, and 8 divide 4, that is 2. So, yung 12 and 15, pwede sila i-divide sa 3. Okay, so 12 divide 3, that is 4, 15 divide 3, that is 5. So, ang maiwan na lang sa numerator natin is negative 1, times 4, that is negative 4, and 5 times 2, that is 10. So, pwede pa natin i-lowest term to? Yes, pwede natin to i-lowest term. So, by dividing both numerator and denominator sa 2. Kasi sa 2 lang sila pwede. So, negative 4 divide 2. The answer is negative 2. 10 divide 2, that is 5. So, negative 2, 5 yung sagot natin. 2, negative 2 over 5 yung final answer natin. Next, we have negative 12 divide over 20 divided by negative 20 over 40. So, unang gagawin, again, that is, uh, kunin muna natin yung reciprocal ng divisor natin and proceed to multiplication. So, that is negative 12 over 20 times negative 40 over 20. So, pwede tayo mag-cancellation dito, no? magka-cancel out tayo. So, 12 and 20, so saan sila pwede i-divide? Kay 4. So, 12 divide 4, that is 3. 20 divide 4, that is 5. And then yung 40 and 20, pwede rin natin i-cancel to. So, negative 40 and negative 20. So, saan? Sa 20. So, pwede sila i-divide sa 20. 40 divide 20, that is 2. Since pareho silang negative, so pwede ng negative 40 divide negative 20. So, kaya maging positive na rin. So, negative 20 divide negative 20, that is 1. So, anong maiwan na lang sa taas? That is 3 times 2, that is positive 6. 1 times 5, that is 5. Or, pwede natin gawing mixed number yung sagot natin. So, that is 6 over 5. 6 divide 5, that is 1. And, 1 fifth. Next, we have negative 8 divided by 24 over 14. So, paano ito? Meron tayong isang uh, fraction, tapos meron tayong isang dito, no? Na number, which is hindi siya fraction. So, anong gagawin natin? So, kapag ganito... So, first, automatic naman yan na meron siyang denominator na 1. So, that is negative 8 over 1 times reciprocal nito. So, that is 14 over 24. So, that is, so dito pwede na tayo mag-cancel out. So, 8 and 24, pwede i-divide kay 8. So, negative 8 divide 8, that is negative 1. 24 divide 8, the answer is 3. Then, ito 14 and 1. So, Pwede na yan, no? So, may iwan sa taas, negative 1 times 14, that is negative 14. 1 times 3, that is positive 3. So, negative 14 over 3 or, so negative 14 divided, that is negative 4 and 2 third. Okay, so kapag ginawa nating mixed numbers. Next, 
we have 1 and 2 fourth divided by 4 fifths. So, meron tayong mixed number. Okay, so kapag meron tayong mixed number, anong gagawin? Una, gagawin natin improper fractions. Okay, so gagawin natin improper fractions itong mixed number natin and then get the reciprocal. Okay, kunin natin yung reciprocal ng divisor natin and proceed to multiplication. So, 6 over 4 times 5 over 4. So, meron ba tayong ma-cancel dito? Yes. Kung gagawin natin yung cancellation, pwede na kayo mag-cancel dito. Or, pwede i-multiply muna natin yung numerator and denominator natin. So, 6 times 5, that is 30. 4 times 4, that is 16. So, pwede pa tayong mag-lowest term dito. Ilo-lowest term natin yung sagot natin. So, pwede sila sa uh, 2. So, that is 15 over 8. So, in, gawin natin yung proper fraction. 15 divided by 8, that is 1. And 7 over 8. Next, we have negative 3 and 2 third divided by 2 and 3 fourths. So, gawin muna natin itong improper fractions, yung mixed number natin. So, that is negative 11 over 3. And yung 2 and 3 fourths, that is 11 over 4. Then, get the reciprocal of our divisor. So, just copy negative 11 over 3, the div uh, reciprocal ng divisor natin, and proceed sa multiplication. So, that is 4 over 11. So, ito cancel na natin, no? Kasi same silang 11, so meron tayong negative 1. And then, ito, so ang maiwan na lang sa numerator natin, negative 1 times 4, the answer is negative 4. 3 times 1, negative 3. Tapos, gawin natin mixed number. Negative 4 divided 3, that is negative 1. So, and one third. So, how many one fourth in three over eight? So, paano ito gagawin? So, ilang one fourth to meron dito sa three over eight? So, of course, apply natin yung division of fractions. So, three over eight divide one fourth. So, follow the step na kailangan kunin na reciprocal nito and then proceed to multiplication. So, 3 over 8 times 4 over 1. So, pwede tayo mag-cancellation. No? So, 4 and 8. So, pwede natin divide kay 4. So, 4 divide 4, that is 1. 8 divide 4, the answer is 2. So, ang maiwan na lang is 3 times 1, that is 3. 2 times 1, that is 2. Or, in mixed number, that is 1 and 1 half. So, ibig sabihin, uh, kung ilang 1 fourth yung sa 3 over 8, that is 1 and 1 half. Next, how many 2 over 6 in 9 over 12? So, same process. Divide natin. 9 over 12, divide 2 over 6. Get the reciprocal of divisor. So, 9 over 12 times 6 over 2, proceed to multiplication. So, pwede ba tayo mag-cancel dito? Yes, yung 6 saka 12. So, that is 1 and 2. Divide both by 6. So, 9 times 1, that is 9. 2 times 2, that is 4. Or in mixed number, this is 2 and 1 fourth. So, ibig sabihin, kung ilang 2 over 6 and 9 over 12, that is 2 and 1 fourth. Next, the salon is open 9 and 1 third hours during the day. The salon keeps one guard on duty at a time and each guard shift is 2 and 1 third hours long. So, how many shifts are there per day? So, paano natin ipaprocess yung sagot natin? So, by uh, applying the division of fractions. So, since meron tayong given na mixed number, so, gagawin muna natin whole number ito. No? 9 and 1 third divided by 2 and 1 third. So, gagawin muna natin improper fractions ito. So, 9 and 1 third, that is 28 over 3. 2 and 1 third, that is 7 over 3. And then, uh, get the reciprocal of our divisor and proceed to multiplication. So, 28 over 3 times 3 over 7. So, may makakancel tayo yung 3. So, makakancel din natin yung 28 and 7. So, by dividing both by 7. So, 28 divide 7, that is 4. 7 divide 7, that is 1. Ito makakancel din natin. So, yung maiwan na lang sa numerator natin is... 4 times 1, the answer is 4, and sa baba, 1 times 1, that is 1. And 4 divide 1, the answer is 4. So, ibig sabihin, 4 shifts, uh, shifts are there per day. So, apat na beses, no? Nagpapalit sa isang araw. 
Okay, yung mga duty na guards. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.